Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzanne and Smiley Natural here with another great video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to share a new fragrance with you, one of those Middle Eastern fragrances. I can't wait to try this one. It's been on my shelf just waiting to review. And so when we come back, we're going to review another Middle Eastern fragrance. See you when we get back. Welcome back. You all, I want to start off with what I'm wearing today. Today is Sunday, and I've got on one of my favorite Middle Eastern fragrances today, and that's Kamra by Latafa. But I didn't wear Latafa by itself. I'm sorry, Kamra by itself. I also uh, layered it with, oh my gosh, you all, and I'm almost, this is almost gone, and I don't have a backup of this. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles by Bath & Body Works Fragrance Smith. You all, this is uh, maple syrup, golden waffles. You all, pumpkin spice and brown sugar. Just beautifully blended with the camera. I uh, got lots of compliments today at church. It's just really yummy, delicious, but at the same time, a little boozy as well. Um, with the camera, even though there is no uh, booze note in this one, a uh, camera just does. I mean, it's just I love it. It's just delightful. It's delicious. And it garners a lot of compliments. Remember, you all right now, this fragrance is my number one Middle Eastern fragrance. It's at the very top of my list in Middle Eastern fragrances. I've been told that there is a Kamra coffee uh, one that's come out. I can't remember the actual name, so please forgive me, but it does have a coffee note in it. I can't wait to get my hands on that to do a review, but it's going to be very hard to knock this number one fragrance off the block. This is really, really good. Again, that's what I'm wearing today. So this one we're going to review today is, yes, another Middle Eastern fragrance that's been on my shelf uh, for a couple of months now. And um, I, what I want you to know is I never wear a fragrance. When I say on my shelf, it's on my waiting shelf in the studio waiting for me to review it. It is not on my perfume shelf. So this one has not been worn yet that I'm going to share with you. Anytime I review a fragrance right after I review it, I put it on my fragrance shelf and then I wear it. So this has been sitting for months, just waiting to be reviewed. And it is again by, who is this by? Latafa. It's by Latafa and it's Kaltat Al Arabia Royal Blend by Latafa Prestige. What a beautiful, beautiful box. Looking forward to looking to see what the bottle looks like. And oh, wow, this is so pretty. You all look at that golden, just beautiful and uh, clear at the top. Just really pretty. And look at the juice. I don't know if you can see the juice and the color of that juice, but it's golden as well. Just a beautiful bottle. This one uh, is supposed to have notes, top notes of fruits and apple. It's supposed to have spices, nutmeg, and clove in the mid. And then at the base, it's supposed to have amber, musk, and woodsy notes. So this one I was told is going to be somewhat like my Wajon by Parfum Zamali in a black bottle. I think it's really, I think most men wear it, but it, to me it's unisex because it smells like apple pie, baked apple pie. This one's supposed to be close to it. Um, it's not supposed to be close to camera, but I'm going to see because I'm looking at this and it has the nutmeg and the clove. Um, it's probably going to be a little off because it doesn't have the dates like camera. So we're going to, I'm looking forward to trying this. So let's see, I'm going to pull out my handy dandy sprayer, my well, spray card, and we're going to give this a whirl. Two sprays. Mm. 
Yeah, that has a bait. That's a that's like a baked apple pie. That clove. Oh wow, that's nice, you all. The fruit is yeah, it's fr it's like a fruit pie. Because it's got those spices, that nutmeg, that clove makes it just real spicy and sweet. And then it's drying down. You still get that apple and that clove and that, oh man, this is, this is really, let me just, I want to try this against the camera. They're not the same. They're not the same. See, commerce just that elevated, it's got that, I don't know how they get that boozy note in there without having a note. This one's elevated. This one's elevated. And this one has depth. Yeah. So this one to me, the camera is very bright. Very bright, still has those spices, but also has that date note that makes it really sweet. This one's sweet because of the fruit and the apple. But it's it's very um it's a little heavier, I guess, because of the musk and the woody notes. Yeah, and the amber. This is very nice. You would be smelling like a baked apple pie. Um, I am definitely gonna try this against my Wajan. I only have a sample of that one. And I'll tell you later, I'll probably do a comparison video of what that smells like. But this is really good. This gets the apple. The fruit makes it sweeter. The clove. The spices and the nutmeg brings the depth and the sweetness. And then that, that dry down with that musk and that amber and those woody notes are coming through. And it's just making a very deep, Sweet, gourmand, but sexy um, scent. I really like this. If I could rate this one, you all, on a scale of one to 10, I'm going to give this one a solid eight. A solid eight. It may go up after I wear it, but right now, it's at a solid eight. I love it. I really, really love this. Now, you all know uh, this got a number 10. This got a 10. 10 out of 10. This one right now is an eight out of 10. And again, I'm going to wear it probably tomorrow. And we'll see what we get after that. See how well it wears. But this is a solid eight. It's really good. That's really deeper than the camera. Still fruity and sweet, still spicy, but just deeper. I really like that. I, I really think this is like a baked apple pie. But again, I'm going to have to wear the wash on just to see the difference. But again, you all, this is Latafa's called Tot Al Arabia. This is really, really nice. Eight out of 10. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal in mind, you all, and that is to encourage as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Now, you all know I can't leave without just a few words of inspiration. And today, I want to tell you to be encouraged. Be encouraged. My sister, my brother, all of my subscribers, and all of you that are watching for the first time, wherever you are, in whatever stage you're in in life, I am saying be encouraged. Um, I want you to know some of you may be out there and you are in the just the worst time of your life. You don't think anything can get better. Stop for a moment, take a deep breath, and be encouraged. Sometimes you can't find anybody, not a family member, not a friend, not a coworker. No one is around when you need encouragement the most sometimes. 
So this video is for you. Take a moment, take a deep breath, and just speak some positive words over yourself. For me, that's the scripture. For me, when I'm in those having those down days, when I'm I'm somewhere and I don't know where to turn, I don't know what to do. I encourage myself in the scriptures. I find a scripture such as the 23rd Psalm, and I remind myself that the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Whatever that is for you, encourage yourself. Be encouraged. Get inspired. Sometimes you have to pat yourself on the back. You have to say, way to go, girl. You can do this. Pick yourself up. What are you doing? Stop crying. You can do this. Sometimes you have to do that for yourself. Sometimes we feel like we're out of strength and we can't even encourage ourselves. Muster up the strength. God will give you the strength to encourage yourself. He'll encourage you himself if he has to. He'll send somebody, but I want you to stay encouraged. Know that whatever you've sought out to do in life, don't stop trying. Keep believing and encourage yourself. This is Leslie Suzette. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. One goal to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Thank you for liking this channel. All you have to do is go ahead and hit the, the thumbs up button. And that will show that you like this channel. That helps this channel greatly. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. If you have been watching me and you weren't sure about subscribing, I'm asking you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for sharing. Just click that share button and send this to someone, your family, your friends, a loved one. Share uh, and tell them a little bit about Leslie Suzette and her content. And yes, what are you waiting on? There's that thing at the top called the notification bell. Go ahead, hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when Leslie Suzette is out with some great content. Looking forward to coming back next week. We're getting ready. You know, this is the month of December. So we're getting ready to really kick it up a notch, share some of that Christmas cheer with you, uh, the holiday cheer. Uh, have some fun. We're going to do a live this month. So just be on the lookout. We're going to have some great fun in December. So, so, so excited about not only December, but what the new year has in store for all of us. So until next time, I'll see you then.